Hello all, welcome to Being Passionate Learner. I am Dr. Padmapani Tribhuvan. In this video, I am going to discuss greedy best for search algorithm in artificial intelligence. Contents, what is greedy best for search algorithm? How does it work? Example, analysis and applications. Let us start with what is greedy best for search algorithm. Greedy best for search is a search algorithm in which a node is selected for expansion based on an evaluation function f of n, where n represents a node. The evaluation function is constructed as a cost estimate, so the node with the lowest evaluation is expanded first. Greedy best for search tries to expand the node that is closest to the goal because this is likely to lead a solution quickly. Thus, it evaluates nodes by using just the heuristic function that is f of n is equals to h of n, where h of n is a heuristic function. Now let us see how does it work. First step is initialization. Start with an initial node as a current node. Create an open list to store nodes that are candidates for exploration. Initially, this list contains only the starting node. Create a closed list to keep track of nodes that have already been explored. Second step is selecting the next node. Evaluate the heuristic function for each node in the open list. The heuristic function estimates the cost or distance from a node to the goal. Choose the node with the lowest heuristic value as the next node to explore. This step is what distinguishes best for search from other algorithms as it prioritizes nodes based on their heuristic values. Third step is checking for goal. If the selected node is the goal, the algorithm terminates and the solution is found. Fourth step, expanding nodes. Generate successors or children of the current node Add these successors to the open list if they are not in the closed list or the open list. Update the heuristic values for these nodes. Next step is updating list. Move the current node to the closed list to mark it as an explode. Last step is repeat. Repeat step 2 through 5 until the goal is found or the open list is empty, indicating that no more nodes are available for expansion. Example. Now let us apply this algorithm on the graph shown on the slide. Consider the directed graph having A as the starting node and G as goal node. Age cost are also mentioned in the graph. Consider heuristic values are calculated using some heuristic function. These values are H of A is 7, H of B is 6, Heuristic of C is 5, Heuristic of D node is 4, Heuristic of node E is 3, Heuristic of node F is 3, and Heuristic of goal node G is 0. Remember that for goal state, heuristic value is always 0 as it is estimated cost from a goal node to goal node. If you don't know what are heuristic functions, I'll suggest you to watch video on heuristic functions. Its link is given in the description. Now let us apply greedy best for search on this graph. Here we will have open list or priority queue and here we will have close list or list of visited nodes. Initial state is A. A will be added to priority queue or open list along with its heuristic 7. It is the only node in the open list, so it will be expanded. A has three successors, node B, node D and node C. These nodes will be added to open list along with their heuristic. So now open list has three nodes, node B, node D and node C along with their heuristic values 6, 4, and 5 respectively. Out of these three nodes, a node which has less heuristic will be selected. Here, D has less heuristic, so it will be selected. It is not a goal node, 
so it will be expanded after expansion d will be added to closed list d has two successors node e and node f these nodes will be added to open list along with their heuristic values both of these nodes have heuristic value 3 in open list node e and node f both have heuristic value 3 which is less than node b and node c's heuristic value alphabetical order will be followed and e will be selected e is not goal node so it will be expanded and after expansion it will be added to closed list e has two successors node f and node g f is already in open list so only g will be added to open list along with its heuristic g has less heuristic so it will be selected it is a goal state so the algorithm will terminate here after applying best first search algorithm on this graph we got path a d e g and the path cost is 4 plus 1 plus 4 is equals to 9 always remember greedy best for search uses only heuristic values to select node for exploration it does not use age cost now let us see analysis of greedy best for search algorithm time complexity the time complexity of best for search is typically expressed as order of b to the power m where b is the branching factor and m is the maximum depth of the search space space complexity the space complexity of best first search depends on the number of nodes stored in the open and closed list during the search in the worst case when all nodes are stored the space complexity can be order of b to the power m completeness the completeness of best first search is not guaranteed it depends on the nature of heuristic function and whether it is admissible and consistent a heuristic function is admissible if it never overestimates the cost to the goal. If the heuristic is admissible and consistent, the best first search is complete for problem with finite solution path. However, if the heuristic is not admissible, then the completeness may be compromised. Optimality The optimality of best first search is contingent on the quality of the heuristic function. If the heuristic function is admissible and consistent, then it guaranteed to find the optimal solution. Now let us see applications of based first search algorithm. A star algorithm. A notable application of based first search is the A star algorithm. A star combines based first search with Digestra algorithm, considering both the cost to reach a node from the start and the heuristic estimate of the cost to the goal. This combination ensures an optimal and efficient path. Best for search finds applications in various fields from robotics and pathfinding in games to natural language processing. Its ability to efficiently explore vast search spaces make it a valuable tool in creating intelligent systems. With this, we reach to end of this video. Thank you for watching this video till end. See you in my next video. Till then, being passionate learner, keep learning. Thank you.